Problem one wants us to factor 6x squared plus 11x plus 3 where we have the a value at 6. Now we could go through all the possibilities and that's the way I really prefer students to do it because I think it's very good for your mind to sort of look at all figuring out all possible combinations that can be done but there is a method and I call it the busting B method and some students like it I don't really like it because again you don't really understand what's going on but I'm going to show it to you anyway what happens is you take this value in front of a this value in front of x squared which we call the a value sorry about that the 3 is the c value we multiply these that gives us 18 so we multiply the a and c value which gives us the 18 we now are going to think of what are the multiples of 18 there's 1 times 18 2 times 9 3 times 6 4 times nothing 5 times nothing I know I'm done it's just these three pieces now I look at it and I say, hey, which of these will give me an 11? Now since it's plus, everybody's going to be plus here because everybody's plus, so there's no negative signs here. These together give me 19. These give me 11. These give me 9. 11 is what I want, so I'm going to use the 2 and the 9. What we're doing is we're taking this in front of the x, which is called the b value. This is what I call it, busting b. And we're going to bust that 11 apart. We're going to change it into a 2x plus 9x. Because notice, 2x plus 9x is 11x. That's what we did right here to sort of help us know that it was going to be the 2x and 9x. The 3 is right there. 6x squared is here. So all we've done is we've taken the b value and busted it into two pieces. We've created this, and now what we're going to do is we're going to do what's called factor by grouping. We're going to group this piece and this piece together and see what can be factored out. Well, it has a 2 and a 6 both have a factor of 2, so a 2 can come out. x squared and an x, so an x can come out. That will leave behind. 2x times a 3 will give you the 6, and then another x to get the x squared, because 2x times 3x is 6x squared. I pulled all of the 2x out, so it leaves a plus 1 behind. Now here, 9x and 3. Greatest factor, a 3. So a 3 comes out, and you're left behind with a 3x plus 1. Now notice what they both have. They have a 3x plus 1. Well technically what we're now going to do is we're going to factor that out front. So if we pull the 3x plus 1 out, it's gone here and gone here and you're left behind with the 2x plus the 3. And you've actually just factored this 6x squared plus 11x plus 3 down to what it would be. Now again, the method of this, you've got to use, you got to know how to do factor by grouping, which most students seem to know. So you can do it this way. I'm not a huge fan of it. It works great, but we need an understanding and a little thinking of what we're doing. But here it is, busting B method, and it will always give you the answer.